So this is my um, Vinylmation. It's called Alice in Adventure Time Vinylmation. As you can see, I didn't really have much to choose, but this is what I based it on. Here is my favorite one, and it is Alice from this Cheshire Cat on top. And as you can see, there's like a crazy symbol because the cat is pretty crazy, and that was my favorite one to do. Um, here is the next one. It is the Mad Hatter, and it's very simple, and his accessories are just a hat, and he's very simple. His face barely has nothing, and his ears is just like teacup, and it says cup of tea. The next one is Finn, because he's the main character from Adventure Time, and I thought that'd be cool to do. Next one is Princess Bubblegum, and she is in Keith Haring formats. Those are like the symbols all around her. The next, uh, my next final mission is the White Rabbit, and his only accessory is the umbrella, and his ears, the Queen's Heart, and his famous watch, and his face is minimal again. The next, uh, my next final mission is Jake, and it's just a regular blue black background, and in his ear, as you can see, it's just his girlfriend, Lady Rainicorn, in the sky. Um, the next one is Tweedledum, and um, he has like the Morris um, triangles, black triangles popping out of the side since you have to do it on an artist. The next one is Andy Warhol, and it's the clams from Alice in Wonderland. I chose to do them because they are um, very cute, and they're just in Andy Warhol form, and the bubbles are in the ears, so I thought that was cool to do. This was my choice, and my choice was the Mad Hatter's teapot, and it has the three little spouts, and it says 10-6, which represents the Mad Hatter, so I thought that was cool. And then the ear, it's the butterfly that's like the toasted bread, and I like that part, so that was fun to do. My other one was uh, Peppermint Butler from Adventure Time, and as you can see, he has like the peppermint swirl on his ear, and I like doing this one because he's a really cute character, and he's one of my favorite characters from that show. My minimalist is the snow golem from that one episode from Adventure Time where Finn, where Finn sees the snow golem and it, it was very minimalist because it's only his eyes and his mouth and the little finger smiley face thing which he entertains the fire wolf with which is in his ear. So that was my vinylmation for the snow golem and that concludes my vinylmation poster. Now it's time for my box. As you can see, the top says Alice in Adventure Time, and I really didn't know what to put, so there's just random blue flowers and the Alice in Wonderland colors. So, yeah. Um, my next set represents Alice in Wonderland, and as you can see, that the A has um, the Mad Hatter's hat on it, and the I has the um, White Rabbit's watch on it, and the bottom is just a heart from the Red Queen. And popping out of the side is just a Mad Hatter, so that was cute. My next side represents Adventure Time. You can see that it says Adventure Time Vinylmation. And I, instead of doing um, Finn in the Vinylmation, I decided to put Finn as a Vinylmation since his hat kind of goes along with it. And there's just random circles that make it kind of stand out a bit. So yeah. The next side is Jake. Um, he's just standing in the Vinylmation. The background's just green. The Blue kind of messed it up, so that's why there's like random white spots all over it, and the background is just stripes. So, yeah. The next part of my um, box is a uh, mismatch of um, Alice in Wonderland animations. And those are the ones that you have seen on my poster in the clans the White Rabbit, Alice with the Cheshire Cat on top. I decided to add a quote from the movie, and it says, You're entirely bonkers. But I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are, and that was one of my favorite quotes from the movie, so that's why I decided to add it. Now it's time for the unboxing, and the first thing I will show you is my um, Peppermint Butler plush, and as you can see, he has like the swirl in his ear, just the same as the poster, and this. Yeah, so, I like this, I like to do the plush, even though it was like kind of hard to do, and the back's just regular. I messed up the ears, because I didn't really know how to put them on, so they would mirror, so... The blue is supposed to be on the other side, and the straw is supposed to be on the other side. And the thing that I added was his tail coat, so I thought that was cool to do, and it was cute. And the stitching, my stitching is horrible, because the needle and the canvas just didn't really work with me very well, so it was bad. I think it needed a little bit more plush, but oh well, I think it looks good. So yeah, that was my peppermint butler plush, and I'll just put it down here. The next thing I will show you is an ATC, and an ATC is an artist trading card. This ATC was based on my poster, and on the box has Alice on Wonderland. Vinylmation is Alice and the Cheshire Cat, and this time I did not add the 
crazy swirl. So yeah, I'm just going to put it down and I'll get my next one. My next ATC card is um, the scene from Tangled. And it's the scene where Flynn and Rapunzel are in their boat. And as you can see that they're holding a lantern there that they're going to let out. So it's from that scene. And in the back, it's just the castle. And then in the sky, it's just the lantern. So that's my other ATC card. The next ATC card is my Vera Bradley ATC card. And it was inspired because I like Vera Bradley, so I decided to draw it. So there it is. And the flower looks really pretty, and I really like that one. My next ATC card is just a scene on the farm one. I didn't really have any inspiration to do it, except... I just felt like doing it, and there's the cow, and in the back it's just the farmhouse, and in the ear it's just the sun with a smiley face, and the cloud is another smiley face, so I like doing that one, it's cute. So those were my ATC cards. My next one is my plaster, and my plaster is based on Finn from Adventure Time, and as you can see they match, so I decided to do that one, and I thought it was really fun, and really, really cute, and it was really easy to do, as you can see that's how it looks from the face is really simple and it's just blue shirt and dark blue pants and his black shoes and his backpack so that was really easy to do and I really like that project um yeah that's the side view as you can see it's just his head and the side that's the other side it's basically the same thing the bottom is just black the back is just regular we don't have to paint that and my eat that's my plaster so yeah um now it is time for my unboxing of my custom vinyl nation and yeah it's the tangled tower as you can see the top is the tower the bottom is the tower again and it looks like wood so i really liked how the paint turned down on that one and i really liked it so yeah um this side is just the sun that symbolizes Rapunzel and Tangled, so I decided to do that part, and then the sun again, and that part came out kind of bad. And then this side is just Pascal's names, and that's what my vinyl that's what my vinylmation is. So in the bottom, there was a paintbrush, but I was really upset that you couldn't see it because it also kind of represents Rapunzel and Pascal since they like to paint, and I was really upset that it didn't came out. But oh well. Now it's time for my um, vinylmation. My vinylmation is just, as you can see, it's just um, Pascal, and it's in that scene where they're playing hide and seek, and he's behind the flower pot. And you can see that the flower is right behind him where he was, and then it was kind of fun doing it. It was just hard trying to paint it, and it's just the side, and the side's just brown because it's pot. And, and you can see another paintbrush. I try to, like, incorporate paintbrushes into, like, the tangled part of my vinylmation the tops just leaves from the flower pot and then yeah so that's the front of it and now it's the back of it and the back of it is just the tangled flower it doesn't really look like it I thought it did but I just didn't put the, like all the shimmer and glitter and the lines the petals from it but I think it looks like it so that's the back of my um flower pot so I decided to put a flower since it's a flower pot so yeah that's the back of it and again that's the top the top the side the bottom which is really nothing the other side and the back of it and yeah that's my custom vinylmation so there you go that's all my projects of this year for vinylmation